Hello everyone and welcome to our YouTube channel. In this video, we will guide you through the process how to fix all the apps searching for base station SOC 3. Okay, so guys, we are going to discuss by each step. So, our first step is reset the smart SOC 3 sensor. First of all, unpair the sensor by pressing and holding the base station button while plugging it in, and then gently swipe the DOM part of the sensor across the top of the base station to reset it and re-establish the connection between the sensor and the base station ok guys so this is our first step so guys our second step is disconnect and reconnect the smart sock to the base station first of all disconnect unplug the base station from the wall and wait for at least 5 minutes before plugging it back in ok and press the press and hold the base station button while plugging it to unpair the sensor ok guys after that reconnecting, ensure both smart sock 3 and the base station are powered on the within the range. Press and hold the button on a smart sock 3 sensor until it emits and chip beep indicating readiness to pair with the base station. And then press the large round button on the base station twice within the 2 second to pair with the smart sock 3. Okay. So guys, our third step is check your Wi-Fi connection. Check your Wi-Fi frequently. The OLED produce only support 2.4 GHZ Wi-Fi and do not support the 5.0 GHZ frequency. Split your network. If your Wi-Fi network is dual brand 2.4 GHZ and 5.0 GHZ, ensure that it is split into separate 2.4 GHZ and 5.0 GHZ network. The OLED device and the phone or tablet used for setup need to be connected to 2.4 GHZ network during the setup process okay and then adjust network bandwidth set your network bandwidth channel with 220 MHZ only an OLED product support 20 MHZ connection and may have issue with your auto 20 or 40 and 40 MHZ connection okay fourth step is perform a fully power cycle of the base station first of all unplug the base station from the wall Wait for at least 5 minutes before plugging it back. This will allow to fully power cycle and reset. Once the base station is plugged back in, check the bottom of the base station for a small indicator light that say Wi-Fi if the light is bring brightly illuminate, then your base station is connected to Wi-Fi. And guys, our fifth step is contact OLED support. If the issue persists after following the above step and the base station is still not connecting to your home Wi-Fi, you may need to contact OLED tech support for further assistance. For phone support, you can reach out OLED support by calling their customer service number. You can, here is the number, you can contact them by this number, okay? For USA, you can contact this number, okay? For email support, you can contact by this email, okay? So guys, this is our all step. Thanks guys, have a nice day. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel.